I don't know what happened, but apparently it wasn't recording. I don't know if it stopped recording or what, but apparently it wasn't recording all of that. So it's fine. We got... Wow, that's amazing. Alright, I'm sorry that you missed that. This is the, the board state right now. It was... We both pulled into six. Uh, turn one. Swift Spear. Land tap. Uh, Swift Spear. Magus. Magus has been doing its thing. Drops two bridges. And has not dropped anything that I really need, but look at this, look at this. So, three, uh, three tokens from bridge triggers, and we, right now he's attacking, I've declared my block, and we're, that's it, All right, so before damage, before damage. So I get three from the card, and then We're going to sack the blood gas to scry. Okay, this is going to get ridiculous. We're going to want... Five. Scry. Sack of blood gas. Scry. Oh, you know what you could have done? I made a mistake. When you get more duplicates, you can use this. You can use this again. Sack duplicates. Sack. If you, if you want to do over, that's perfectly acceptable. Sack. Sack. To rewind, to rewind a turn. <laughs> and do things that are meant to do. How can you sack it to itself? So it's sacrifice a creature, not sacrifice another creature. But you can discard both freelance voting contract and magnolia. It's impossible to affect and then you can have it. It's allowed to sacrifice itself as part of that. I don't, I don't really know how to explain it. He fills, he fills the requirement of being a creature, and that's just part of the cost. Once he does, his triggers his abilities on the stack. Okay. Uh, you have a lightning bolt. Okay. I wish I did. So that's turn. Yes. Swing 26. They're all two twos. There's 13 of them. 14, 22. Uh, swinging 20. Oh, you're gonna block? Yeah, I'll take 22. Okay. I'm sorry that you missed that. I don't know what happened. I could have sworn it was recording in the beginning, but apparently I was mistaken. That was redonkulous. Um, sorry. Sorry, you two. Really, I, I am. I apologize. And I'll give you a few more. You got me really, really close. You got me down to three life. And I got you to 15 until. Yeah, do what you need. Everything else has to be in All right, here we go. So, this would be an illegal play. So I'm telegraphing the information. But it was the best play that I had at that point. So that's why I did it. But you're going to know for sure that this is an upgrade. What do you say? Oh, that would be my turn. Alright, I think that I'm going to keep. Oh, I, th I think I know what happened to the camera. I think I know what happened. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was my bad. Alright, so, sexiness over here. I don't exactly know what he's on. This is a bit of a catch-all. Um, he looks like he's playing a deck that I've seen before, which is kind of combo-ish. I'm gonna try it out. You fit with you awfully well. I'm not sure if I have time. That seems like it'd be a bit too slow, actually. I think what happened is I, uh, so I might have cut it when we mulled it. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I think so. 
And if that's the case, then I'm just an idiot. But we knew that. Yeah. 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 Going to five. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go from six lines to no Oh, man. How many lands do well? Well, I should ask you that later. Yeah, the last game was... The Magus of the Bazaar kind of just was a workhorse. It looks like it's card disadvantage unless you want stuff in your graveyard. And there's a reason why Bizarre Baghdad is a vintage card. And this is just a modern label creature version of Bizarre Baghdad. So, just doing a lot of work. It doesn't look like it would. It's, also, it's a little slow. And it just dies to Lightning Bolt, as we keep finding out. You know what it says? But that translates to one dollar at one I'm looking at killing my own stuff now. So put two. Ooh, yeah. That would definitely exile bridge. They're, they're All right. Yes. Strength is mimic out practice where they sort of easily cross the line to, to stop the first subroutine. So we've got break a century subroutine century here. And those are each sub -line. So two bucks, one to break the first subroutine, one to break the second. If you choose to run. So, Quick one, you do the minute, quick two, you insult, quick three would really be a good idea. Lava Spike. Lava Spike is good. Uh, yeah. Throw me to 17. It would get you through once. Without the, so the, the rotor turrets, two subroutines wouldn't happen. Um, basically, you would not you would You would get past it on this run for two hours. Nope. 16 and only 16. I just need a little more. You had a dollar, you could stop one of those two subroutines and get a two bucks. And then you can get your dollar. I'm going to play a Magus of the Bazaar and I'll pass the turn. Okay. Can you access my four cards? And it's going to die? <laughs> All right, upkeep. <laughs> I can't use that until after, until immediately after the turn where you score an agenda. So, well, you can't try, you can't steal. You can't destroy it. So it doesn't have the little trash trash in the corner. Now for the regular draw, I'll replace it by putting Golgari Grave Troll in my hand. So dredge six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know I have it. So there's another bridge. Basically, this basically is a retaliatory strike after you steal one of my agendas. When you, the next time you steal an agenda, you know the next turn I'm probably going to play this. Going to take two. The card is going to do damage. Yeah. Abrupt decay. Or, well, that's not a tell. Uh, lotless troll. Knee damage is. Um, and then, let's see. So knee damage is the corp is the knee damage is bombs and gunshots being shot. <laughs> um, all damage is the same. Knee damage forces you to discard cards. Net damage forces you to discard cards. Brain damage also forces you to discard cards. It's a little bit nastier, but we're not going to worry about brain damage. Pass turn. But that's why John was saying you generally. Hi, Swiss Spear. In your turn, I'm going to pitch Grave Troll to Lock Patrol to give it a Let's counter. suppose you stole an agenda, but it's worth two agenda. I could then play this card in retaliation. Upkeep. Causing you to discard two cards. This is basically the same game as last time you two. I'm going to just replay it for you. Uh, Let's say you ran and you only had one card left. 
Okay, you know, I have a soul and agenda that's worth it. You know I'm going to hit you back for two meat damage on my turn, which is why you would use quick four on your turn to mm. our car, keeping you sick. I think we're good. Um, Make us. But that was a solid run for you. We have solid I'm going to replace the you first one with the trash. It's the first draw. And, uh, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Which is good. Knowing that it's coming, you can build up a defense. I see another Grave Troll, so we're going to replace that one with the dredge as well. Okay. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> then we have to discard two, or three, we discard three, so I'm discarding you three. Now, for my regular draw for the turn, I will dredge the Grave Troll. Comes to hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three bridges in the yard. You are tapped out, so you can't even bolt your Swift Spear here. Um, let's see. Yeah. Try it over with uh, triggers. Uh, one. That's, uh, that's a very typical ice cream. Apparently that's it. Um, Just the one. And they all, there's a, a nice symmetry. So you've got... So this or a seat. You've got barriers, you've got code gates, and you've got sentries. I haven't seen any barriers. Um, uh, Swing. Good. Three. Pinnarks have really good barrier battle Pitch the Gulgari okay, control, make it swing four. Their code yeah. gate breakers are terrible. Shapers have turn. really good code gate breakers. Shapers are really good at sourcing. They're really good at okay. Yeah, so at the end it's just, really at the end of turn, pitch everything to uh, Viscera Seer to make three times the number of creatures pitched. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty-one tokens, and then a lot of the troll to um, and then that becomes game. So that's what's supposed to happen with it. Yep. So what did you sign uh, in against? No, I signed it in, obviously, a Bonfire on the Oh, God. That would be the top deck of Justice. Oh, and there's a good, there's good parallels between the time with Justice to go for it. Yeah. Tend to be very good at now, is Bonfire is going to... Oh, to target um, players. So if you absolutely needed to... Oh, and there's a murderous cut I said as well. You can target yourself. That's, that's desperate. Uh, and obstinate Vela and broke the cap. My side outs. I sighted out two Narcomavens and four Drowning Songs. So I still found my Narcomavens. That was lucky. Um, but in this particular match, I was a little bit worried that Narcomavens is just not going to do anything except for a block up from one creature one turn. Tormod's Crypt. Main board next week. <laughs> hey, if you, uh, if you run Telerian uh, Ruin, what is it, Telerian Ruins? Or I think that's right. Telerian West. You can actually transmute for it. Yeah, I think it's what it was. I took out the Stokes. Gotcha. It took me five advancements. Alright. Yeah, I don't blame you. That, so what exactly, is this just a burn deck? Or is it the so campaign uh, combo deck? Uh, usually Young Pyromancer. And then you can, ah. get, you can get that going pretty good. Man, I never even saw Pyromancer. I got I dodged a bullet there. Well, you only saw one mountain, so I can Fair enough. Oh, uh, that's, that's true. That's true. Pyromancer tokens for stones. Uh, 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 uh,